Hello everyone and welcome to Games, Comics and Crafts. In today's video I'll be looking at Transformers Issue 2. Okay, so I've got a little bit behind on these due to some postal foul ups. So it's Issue 2 of Transformers, uh, coming a couple of weeks ago. Um, again, good, good episode, uh, issue even. Um, Prime obviously admires Earth. Accidentally crushes a deer and basically apologises because he says that Cybertron is all metal, which is really cool. So something like that. He's got no experience with this kind of Earth and environment. That's cool. Explains about the Cybertron in war. Explains about Megatron possibly being on the ship when it crashed, but no mention of what happened after that. We still don't know quite how long ago this was. <coughs> Cliff Jumper. Okay, so one thing that bugs me about this issue. Cliff Jumper is, is scared of the human because he's never exposed a human. But in his language, as he's talking, he says man as a way of uh, adding to the end of a, of a sentence. So is that, should that be a thing? Technically there's no such thing as a man if you've never exposed a the human. Anyway, just a way. Maybe he learnt his language from, uh, the, uh, from the computer before, you know, as he was awakened, I don't know. But it's just strange. Love the idea that this um, is the original uh, trailer. With with all the bits and bobs from the from the original toy, that's really cool. Obviously, he's got lots of bodies here as well. Um, we then cut to the tra uh, Decepticons basically knocking the crap out of loads of stuff. They uh, kind of turn to uh, steal some uh, energy on. We get uh, a jet fighter is dispatched to basically stop Starscream. They have a bit of a fight. The jet is knocked out of the sky. The pilot ejects, manages to one of them gets crushed. A second one is a Jex and manages to fly into uh, Starscream, shoots him in the face with a gun, and it's Duke from G.I. Joe. Yay, Duke. Okay, so that's cool. This is where we forget our first kind of G.I. Joe crossover issue. Um, the It would appear that the girl Stad was the one that was killed in issue one, and as the girl flees back to um, her home to find her dad, she finds Spike's dad here, presumably from the, the Vietnam War. I, I see, again, I see, we can only assume this is the 80s. I don't, I don't really know when this is set. We're still, we're still kind of vague on that, on that thing. Um, but we've got, we've got Lay's beak there and all this kind of stuff as well. So all in all, though, yeah, a cool issue. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what Duke stuff is and see how it ties in. Cobra Commander is going to be apparently. I mean, they've got Starscream in the back of that. Cobra Commander has got. Um, some ties into Decepticons as well, so that's quite cool. But yeah, I mean, again, the artwork is is is, is a lot more raggedy, uh, you know, loose um, kind of pencils than I would normally like on Transformers. But I think it really works. I like it. Um, so yeah, I'm very very happy with this issue. It's uh, it it's definitely pulled me in, keep me wanting to buy some more stuff. I will be picking up. Um, I've just got uh, issue five and six of Void Rivals, and I've got. Um, Duke on pre-order and Cobra Command on pre-order so we'll see how the whole Energon universe picks it up um, and uh, yeah we'll see how it goes but all in all a good nice solid issue again crossover with G.I. Joe that will actually make sense and um, I want to know where RC is coming in because I don't think she's among them bo um, bodies but she was on the cover of the first issue so let's see where she turns up anyway thanks for my uh, listening to my little ramblings and I will catch you on the next video Bye-bye.